doing a new stream or uh, a stream of a new game I just got on sale. When resources seemed endless. But in 2030, the great energy crisis began. With hardly any resources left on our world, global powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. I'm streaming the now. Was found in helium three, a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the moon. With it, humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. It's on the intro and page, so, like when you first started up the game. Mankind colonized the moon, spearheaded by the Lunar Council. The WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process helium-3. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network, the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. Then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. No energy. The MPT had gone offline, <coughs> and communication with the lunar colonists was lost. Lost. Without Man. resources to launch a full-scale rescue mission to the moon, the World Space Agency was shut down Cut off. in 2055. Cut off comms. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, They've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. What awaits is unknown and unforeseeable. But the mission is clear. Deliver us the moon. Alright, let's see. Settings, uh, gameplay, English, spoken, show subtitles, controls. Let me turn off my controller. I don't need my controller for this. Horizontal, I normally like sensitivity a little bit higher than default. Let's try six. Whoa, I can't change the bindings. Zoom, fire scan, zoom. Okay. And camera roll left and right I can't change that I don't like games that you can't change the damn controls on <laughs> yeah I roll right and left are on my Q and E I like that on my thumb button just like the leans So, Astro Tool Tab. WASD is my move. Flashlight Interact. That sucks. Interact is F. Control ASC. Sprint. Toggle Sprint. Walk slowly. Jump. Pretty simple controls, man. Here we go. I don't know if this music's copyrighted or not, so I'm going to turn it off.
Windowed full screen, that works. Or can we do like borderless full screen? I guess that would be windowed full screen. Epic, yeah. Let's go with epic. Hi. Uh, DLS is. Don't need vertical sync either. Uh, apply that. Let's do advanced epic. Epic. Is there 12? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But I did select that. Okay. What's ray tracing anyway? Looks like they said I have to restart the game. So let's do that. I guess we can uh, skip the uh, intro this time. What say you? What say you? with the sound now. Direct X12 is or is oh, selected. Oh well, I ain't doing that one, I guess. Here we go. Here we go. Friends and family of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 NPC blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil, which ultimately led to the closure of the world space agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast of the equatorial desert's growth rate. As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's landmass. Several governments have pledged support for refugees, despite reports of resource shortages. The dust storm is expected to hit residential zones between the northern 49th and 50th latitude lines by late afternoon and pass over the World Space Agency's former <coughs> ground station in the Amurai Desert. Authorities have imposed a mandatory evacuation of the impacted area. For countries north of the equatorial desert, temperatures are expected to be a mild 46 degrees Celsius. This was Nicole Page for World News 1, September 16, 2015. 2059, wishing you a safe and happy day. All right. Whoa. 
All right, it does settle down. I do need to change my control settings. Oh. We're ready to start the mission. Probably even more. Let's try it at 10. I like my control sensitive. Probably nine. <sighs> yeah, I think this is good. We'll go with this. We'll go with this, y'all. Let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, toggle. I'm going to have to get used to these controls. I'm used to using E as my interact instead of F. Can we... Uh... Okay. R. Okay. Launch sequence. Command module blueprint. 12-5. That's my dad's birthday. Ground launch sequencer. Orbital axis arm. Auxiliary power units. So this is how we launch. We've got to turn all these on. Gaseous oxygen vent arm. Sound suppression system. Hydrogen burn off. Main engine ignition. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation. Second stage ignition. Uh, that should be auto automatic in my opinion. The stage, stage separation and the engine cutoff. I believe once the launch sequences have been started. You would think. Those would be automatic that I don't have to manually do it. Backside. You've done it a thousand times before during our simulations. We know you can do this. Good luck. Clear. Another clear, huh? Another clear. Here we go. Oops, back. And let's inspect and inspect that list. No. The controls are, the, the movements are a little wank. Jank. I guess I just got to get used to it. Moon Man, Far Crossing, Backside, a brave astronaut ventures to the moon, his mission to explore the lunar expanse and uncover its mysteries. While the road is desolate and the hardships many, he knows that he must persevere to save mankind. Alright, what else can we inspect? What else can we inspect? I don't want to miss anything. On it, back everything. Whoa, laggy! What the heck is going on, Zion? I guess that's the only one you can inspect there. Let's do it. Boom! Oh, oh, oh! MPT online. MPT. That's the microwave uh, something transmission. Power transmission. Microwave something transmission. I used to work on microwave systems in my previous job kind of miss that. I don't miss the climbing, but I kind of miss working on that system. The microwave power transmission generates power inside a fusion reactor and sends it wirelessly to receivers on Earth, fueled by helium-3 harvested on the moon. While the MPT took over a decade to complete, the energy signal traveled rapidly from the lunar colony to Earth. The World Space Agency believes the MPT can transmit enough energy from the colony's fusion reactor to supply approximately 2% of the Earth's population. Not bad considering it's 2030 or is it 2059? Because I saw the news thing says 2059. So maybe the catastrophe happened in 2030, but it's like, you know, 29 or 29 years later is when I actually go up to the moon. That percentage is expected to rise quickly. In another decade, the MPT could power all of Earth, said Dr. Isaac Johansson, the agency's lead scientist. Earth will never be in the dark again. Backside, is it working yet? I don't know, you tell me. I guess we're going to have to make it work. It's supposed to be a chill game, so we're going to take it easy and try to figure out everything. I guess I have to get my uh, suit before I come outside. Is there anything else I can inspect? Can we hear anything? Patina, are you there? Yes, I am. Come on out. 
Okay. That's pretty sophisticated. Ground control to Fortuna One. This is Claire. Please confirm radio contact. Okay. Astro tool. Welcome. W S A. Confirm contact. Radio That's contact confirmed. Make your way to the launch platform and, and prime, prime the rocket for the We have, we have to launch before the last storm hits. Should I risk playing the music? You think? I don't know if it's copyrighted or not. I don't think game counts, but sure, try. I think they will just mute you. Mute you. Yeah, I know they won't stop. I mean, they'll just mute it. But if I'm like we're talking stuff too, hold on. Let's see settings. Let's play. I don't really don't do music on games, but it could be good. It could be a good mood music. Bulan got one streamer and person that he always play with she always plays some copyright music and she got muted <laughs> even though she have she has her VOD poor girl don't get to <laughs> this get uh, a full, a full um, VOD without getting muted I mean, the yeah, whole time um, she's, the whole video is just muted. <laughs> Zipa finally uh, replied. Good thing. I was like, good. I was just a little concerned. They haven't heard from you. Good thing that you uh, heard from you from him now. He said he was outside doing stuff all day pretty much, and he had his phone inside the house. Mm. Fesenkov Cosmodrome. 2059. This is 2059. And it's on my dad's birthday. 12-5-2059. Is there anything to inspect here? Where's my cursor thing? How come I lost my cursor thing? Deliver us to the moon. Yeah, it's supposed to be some drama, this story, or this game. It's supposed to be like drama. What's the drama? I mean, what's the drama? Well, like, they created a, um, they, they found this thing, this element, or isotope in, in, moon, in the moon called Helium-3. And they use nuclear reaction, uh, nuclear fusion, along with microwave technology, to be able to transmit that power. Because helium three is supposed to create power. Because in 2030, Earth's supposed to have a power crisis, so they found this helium three on the moon, and they're beaming power back to Earth. And then all of a sudden, it just like stopped. So I was sent here to the moon to investigate what happened. You know why the power production stopped? Because they lost communications and everything with the, with the people in the moon so so that was supposed to restore it back but from what I heard just like from steam and stuff like you know the uh, comments and stuff like that that it's supposed to be good they said the controls are a little wanky which I'm feeling now but they said it's actually a pretty decent game and it switches between like between first person and third person on its own you don't you can't like you can't you know change that yeah but I guess that's part of the cinematic thing they do here. But it's supposed to have like a really good story. That's what a lot of people are saying. Like, you know, the game could improve on even the ones that have bad reviews. They say in the story is still awesome, but it's just it can improve on the controls and, and the uh, camera perspectives. So I'm just going around scanning everything. You ever face Selma? No. You should. Encrypted really transmission. Think twice about everything inside that game. Collecting more database items is key to. It's all static. Okay, so you into the astronaut helmet. The suit's communication provider not only allows for direct communication to and from the astronaut, it also be able to detect recorded data in the user's close environment for effortless extraction and playback. Okay. 
Okay, the flashy lighty. We are flashlights installed next to the astronaut's visor to help illuminate the astronaut's surroundings. Go to flashlights batteries have limited capacity. They automatically charge rapidly. Oh, so kind of like Half-Life. Astro Tool. Compact, lightweight, and versatile. The Astro Tool provides the astronaut with all necessary info to complete his or her mission. The tool's dossier section keeps a record of obtained contextual, contextual information while the mission log tracks the astronaut's progress. Additionally, the Astro Tool displays current oxygen reserves and provides control over a linked ASC uh, unit. You should try Soma. It's worth the time. Oh, okay. I'll give it a look. I'm reading all this stuff. That's so why I wasn't responding, sorry. I'm actually reading it on the stream. Go ahead and read it. Scanning Oculus. Detecting residual traces of information around the astronaut, the scanner highlights objects that are scannable. Scanning an object re retrieves the residue and stores the unlocked information in the AstroTools database. Okay. All right. All right, all right. The mission. MPT data that were created by... Created by Isaac Johansson, the MPT transmitted power from the moon to the earth through a network of solar satellite dishes. Since Isaac's experience during a 2054 blackout, Claire Johansson has studied her father's work closely in preparation for the Fortuna mission. Ah, so the person that sent me here is the daughter of the, I guess, scientist engineer that created this like MPT transmitted, uh, the microwave power transmission system. As it says, created by Isaac Johansson, the MPT transmitted power from the moon to the earth through a network of satellite dishes. Since Isaac's disappearance during the 2054 blackout, Claire Johansson has studied her father's work closely in preparation for the Fortuna mission. So she's the one that I'm talking to, Claire. The Johansson family. Elizabeth, oh, that's my daughter's second name. A mother's, a mother's lost. <laughs> Elizabeth kept the Johansson family together after her husband Isaac assumed a role on the Lunar Council. After her death, Claire took care of her sister Kathy before she was taken to the moon to live, to live with Isaac. Both Isaac and Kathy have not been seen since the blackout. Okay. Yeah, I'm just reading everything for the, for my whoever's watching. Ooh, I'm listening to this transmission. I gotta find, discover different parts of data to to unlock the uh, this. Someone left a miss, like a, a recorded audio thing, but it's all like encrypted. So I gotta find the things to un, you know, decrypt it. The Astro tool has dis detected scattered traces of information originating from lunar colony. On-site data recovery could yield our data. I like saying data. It just sounds more scientific. Data recovery could yield insight into the sender, content, and receiver of the message. Ooh, okay. All right, that's it for my database. Uh, what else can I look at? I guess I got to look at everything because they were saying something like there's no way to go back if you miss something. So I'm just going to take my time because it's just a story based game. It's not really supposed to have much action. Well, it's got some action scene stuff, but nothing like a typical game. You know what I mean? It's a lot of cinematic stuff. Kind of like, I guess, Resident Evil in a way. The original Resident Evil, how that worked, you know, I, it's what I'm getting a feel of, but it's just in the moon. Oh, this is Claire's box. Okay, there's Kathy's box and Claire. I found. Oh, what is this? I'm, so I'm going around everywhere and kind of taking my time trying to inspect anything that I can inspect. I would have you puked if I had to do that. <laughs> I just flushed the toilet. It still works. Okay. Do what? To have to do what? Searching like that. What do you mean? But I would be. I would do that same.
End of the Age of Wires by Isaac Johansson. Backside, imagine a world free of fossil fuels and pollution. All of our energy needs satisfied in a blink of an eye. A system that can wirelessly transmit energy all over the world. And beyond. I'm sorry? I need to take English class again. I don't think so. This is the MPT, the microwave My power transmission. Is messed up. No, you're good. I'll just keep correcting you and stuff. You'll be good. This is the MPT, the microwave power transmission in this book. And don't ever think that whenever I do make you corrections and stuff that I'm trying to demean you in any way. Anytime I see you do say something wrong or whatever, I'll just say it, you know. It's not like, because I'm trying to help you. Because that was like my ex, oh, I don't want to talk about negative stuff on my stream, but real quick, I'm going to pause my, I'm going to mute my stream real quick while I say this. I understand. Most don't. Kate. Kate. Hey, Red, and welcome. I just got grabbed this game. Um, first time playing it. It's not my typical type of game in a way, in, in, in a sense, but it had good reviews. It was on sale. It was relatively cheap. And uh, I heard the, uh, well, I'm feeling it now. The controls are kind of wanky, janky, but um, I heard that um, it's actually got a good um, story to it. The back story of it is like 2030, they, um, this guy right here. Isaac Johansson, I guess he's a scientist, engineer type guy. He created this uh, MPT, microwave power transmission, using helium-3 isotope from the moon um, and a network of satellite uh, dishes and uh, using microwave uh, technology along with um, nuclear power. They're able to transmit power wirelessly from the earth or from the moon to the earth because uh, there was like, you know, because of overpopulation or whatever, Earth's having all kinds of blackouts and problems and stuff. So, well, that was in 2030. It's now 2056, I believe. But 2054, there was supposed to have been... Hold on. All right. In 2054, there was supposed to have been this blackout, and they lost communications with the, the outpost in the moon that was providing power to the Earth. And I was sent here, I guess, to um, to try to find out what happened. So that's where we're at. It's supposed to be a slow-paced game, but it's 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 heavily driven, uh, story-driven. So I'm just like some of the stuff they were saying in the uh, in the Steam reviews was that like the thing they don't like is sometimes you miss something and you can't go back to it. So I'm kind of just taking my time and kind of like inspecting everything that can, I can possibly inspect or scan or whatever so it might be a boring stream because I might be going to like dead ends and but I don't want to miss anything basically so um, how are you doing today well is it uh, I guess morning there now another day for you right Tuesday you said you're in Korea Mm, nice, nice. Oh, what is this? Should I flip that switch? It's a little rocket model thing. Okay, let's do it. Whee! Uh, that launch didn't seem successful. I think it was supposed to go straight up, right? I hope my rocket doesn't do the same thing. Alright, let's see what that one is all about. Oh, Sputnik moment, monument. Hey, the Sputnik. That's the Russian cosmonauts. Uh, I guess they're basically like the comparison to the Apollo program during the space race. The Russian and the U.S. space race. A monument marks the entrance to the Fesenkov 
Cosmodrome. The first Cosmodrome, with that word, reminds me of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles so much with the uh, Technodrome. The facility was abandoned until the Fortuna team made it their base of operations after the blackout and began preparations for humanity's last mission to space. The sign reads, To the Stars! Well, I kind of like Buzz, Buzz, uh, Lightning. It's, uh, words. To infinity and beyond. I think his line was better. Yeah. So that's it for that. Let's get out of here. How do I escape? Tap. Okay. That's pretty cute. There's the Sputnik. The Russians were the first ones in space. At that time, it was the USSR, Union Soviet Socialist Republic. The rocket is ready to be timed. Head into the facility to reach the control center. Yeah, wee, 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 wee. Kind of weird, but we'll do it. I think we can do away with the jumping sound effect, though. No, just the controls feels a little weird. But it's more fun when I say wee 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 wee. Can I go up this? Oh, let's go see what's up here. Before we go into the doors. Aha. Top of you. It's supposed to be a pretty simple game. It's almost fifty percent off. That's the only reason why I jumped on it. I guess I don't have to hit that button. I'm scared. Anything in here I can inspect? How do I do flashlight again? Uh. Flashlight. Uh, see? No? See? Aha! There's my flashlight. And where's my battery level? Good. This is nice. On your way up to the, facility. the control center is located on the top floor. There you can top floor? The it's in the top floor? Okay, cheers, mate. To the loo. To the top floor we go. It's been five years since we last received a microwave power transmission from the lunar colony. I used to actually work on microwave systems. Well, land based microwave systems, not like through space. Just like you will when you get the MPT back online. Alright. Okay, let's get it back online, Claire. You gonna help me out? Um, is this the way out? Doesn't matter. Oh, auto saves. Okay, good to know. There's save points. This reminds me of like a more detailed space engineers. Hey. I like your style. Can I take that? Oh, it's not. It's just a statue. I want a black suit. I'd rather have a black suit. This is pretty cool, though. Interact. Uh, let's try. When everything fails, try. One, two, three, four. No. What about zero, 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 zero? Yeah. What about seven, seven, three, four? Eh. Uh, any other numbers? Let's try 1078. Just cause, cause I'm 10. Yeah, okay. All right, that doesn't work. Um, how do I escape out of here? Ah, oh, back. The network transmission since 2041. Powering our future. Really? What's left in there? Aha! 
If power's out, use code 3548 for the door. All right. Let's collect it. Where is that supposed to be? Aha. It just says it there. Gotcha. Copy that. Anything to inspect here? Anything? I have the, con the uh, sensitivity to like 9 out of 10. It's still not that sensitive. But I'll go with it. I'll go with it. Whoa. I guess my flashlight ran out of battery. But it recharges quickly, it says. 3, 4. What is it again? 3, 5, 4, 5. Eh. 3, 5, 4, 8. 3, 5, 4, eight. That was actually my next guess. Uh -huh. Yep, true story. Uh, <laughs> uh, pull. I'd rather push. Like when I go to like the toy store and stuff, I like push everything, but I don't like pulling things. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, no, I still need a flashlight. Can I open this one now? No. This one? No. Let's conserve battery. This building once functioned as part of the WSA, but it's, it's been, been our home for many years now. now. Okay. I still can't believe you'll be many years now. The desertification of this whole region won't take long after the storm passes. Okay. Maybe I have to do that to do for to do something later on. Oh, another one. Let's read this one. 2055 Space Tech Magazine Blackout 2054. What happened to the MPT? Life without MPT. A year after the blackout. Backside. In the edition, we invite world-renowned scientists to discuss. What could have caused the MPT to remain offline? What might have happened to the lunar colonists and how humanity should move forward? Should? Shoulda, woulda, coulda? Anything else to inspect? Anything? Look, we're like in 20... Look at this. We're in 2056 and we're still using lanterns from like... From like um, 1800s. Yeah. Well, it's actually pretty good, huh? There's the bed. I thought that was like a blueprint. It's like leather. Can I open any of these lockers? So what about that thing up there? Nothing. Nothing, nothing. It's a pretty simple game. It's pretty soft core so far. So it's a pretty linear game, man. Reminds me of like Resident Evil and Alien Isolation. But it's not supposed to be scary, I don't think. So, aha! What is that? Fortuna. Fortuna. Determined to seek the truth about the 2054 blackout and restore the MPT connection, Maria Gonzalez has raised the Fortuna team from the ashes of the WSA. Since 2055, Maria's team has been secretly working on their mission. Okay. Maria Gonzalez, another name. Now I have Kathy Johansson, Isaac Johansson, and Maria Gonzalez. Oh, look at that. I just got an achievement unlocked. You spin me right, right, right round, round. Read. Huygens. 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 Research facility backside in memoriam 
Huygens malfunction 2048. Okay, they made they made a memoriam token for uh, a malfunction. Okay, I guess he wasn't a busy day at the uh, the station that day. Can we uh, inspect any of these? Nope. Oh, look at that! It's like a hologram. Let's see, Maria's broken ASC unit. One of the few survivors of the 2048 Huggins cryo sleep malfunction, Maria brought her damaged ASC unit back to Earth with her. She, she's been trying to repair her ASC in hopes to restoring holographic recordings captured by the device during her time at the Huggins, Huggins research facility. Yes, is what they would. Yeah, how would you pronounce that, uh, Stealth? Would that be Huygens or Huygens or Huygens? Where? That thing right there, that word, the, the cryosleep malfunction. Huygens, H-U-Y-G-E-N-S. Huygen. Huygen. Huygens. Or Huygen, not Huygen. Huygen, Huygen can be also. I know, right? That's what I'm like. So I don't know. I'll just go with Huygen. Oh, dear Sarah, we met years ago on the Pearson Space Station. I was relieved from service after the Huygen's cryosleep malfunction. However, we talked about my broken ASC. I'm looking for a way to extract this holographic data. I'm hoping you could help me out. Maria Gonzalez. That was in 919. And then the day after. Hi, Maria. Yeah, I remember holographic data runs through a unique hardware component. I specialize more in software. So you should reach out to my colleague Rolf Robertson here at Pearson. He's an excellent mechanic. Okay, now we have five names. We also have Sarah. What's her last name, though? Baker. Sarah Baker. That's funny. I went to school with a girl named Sarah Baker. Rolf Robertson. I didn't go to school with a person named Rolf at all. Okay. What is this? Floxetine. Antidepressant pills. All right. 100 pills, 10 milligrams, Sophia Co. It's the company that made them. And Memoriam. These lost during the Huygen malfunction of June 10th, 2048. Read. These lost. Don't forget everyone we've lost that day. Okay? We won't. Okay. Anything else to inspect? Yeah, it's pretty linear, like, it's not much of a sandbox. You just have to kind of follow where it lets you go. Where does it say my oxygen? Okay. My oxygen reserves. The thruster. Must be the crew quarters. Yep, it looks like the. Uh... Okay. Right. okay. Anything here we can inspect? Anything? Nothing. Can I talk to her again? How do I talk? How do I mean? 
Controls, bindings, flashlight, interact, control, ASC, C. Okay, so there's no comms. C. Nope, does not do anything right now, so. Uh, this actually kind of looks like NASA's logo. There's a little lag here and there. I don't know why. I'm getting good frames. Anything I can expect. Maybe I should turn up the music a little bit more, huh? Let's do four. Hopefully I don't get muted by Twitch for copyright material. That looks like it's inspectable. No? Beer Pong. Ha ah, ha, they're keeping score of Beer Pong, huh? So Beer Pong still existed in 2050-something. We haven't found anything to replace beer. Where is that? I don't think it's safe to touch that. Is it? Whoa, I saw something. Please proceed outside the Fesenkov Cosmodrome facility between September 15th to 16th. Everyone in and around the facility must be ready outside the building at 5 a.m. At the rendezvous. Maria, 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 Maria. She remind me of a West Side story. Growing up in Spanish Harlem. Whoa. Learning to listen. Achievement. Environmental analysis part one. So Maria and Claire were kind of like, Good. we're kind of close, okay? Maria is a go-getter. Right. She reminds me of a teacher, science teacher I used to have, saying that nothing's impossible. It just hasn't been done yet. All right. So we've heard what she had to say. The mission's done. The malfunction, I already read that. Let's get out of that. There more info? No, it's the same exact picture. That one's the command module. Okay. That's the thruster? That's the launch vehicle. Version 34. Aha! Clara's Rock. Oh, she made this. Recruited straight out of university. Claire Johansson designed the Taurus 5 rocket for the Fortuna mission. Claire was eager to join the team to uncover the fates of her father and sister on the moon after the 24, 2054 blackout. Okay. Anything? Oh, this looks Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. This looks official. Dear Miss Johansson, the court rules that the father, Isaac Johansson, as the next of kin, has been granted full custody over Kathy Christina Johansson after the mother, Elizabeth Johansson's untimely death. As her current guardian, you are ordained to ensure that Kathy is brought to safe passage to the moon 
to be reunited with her father. Sincerely, the Honorable Judge Richard Edge. Let's get out of here. Next. Fortuna, 2055, established one year ago. All right, so this is the steps I got to do. I got to activate the ground launch sequencer. And then, I guess, activate the orbital axis arm. And turn on the auxiliary power units. That's over there. Damn. One. Okay. Hydrogen burn off. Oh, no, no. See? I would have messed up. Gaseous oxygen vent arm. Sound suppression system. Hydrogen burn off. Main engine ignition. Main engine cutoff. I would think that these these last three would be automatic because it's like the main engine cutoff that should be controlled by a computer. Same with the stage separation and the second stage ignition. I shouldn't have to activate those. And the control center is located on the top floor of the facility. The dust storm is approaching fast. Let's go. I don't think I have time, do I? I don't see time. Good. You're in the control center. Get the rocket ready to launch as fast as possible. I'm trying not to miss anything if there's anything hidden. I want to try to get everything, if possible. What do I do in this room? Maybe this. What do I do? I'm like stuck, man. I don't know what to do here. Aha! Calculating new storm ETA. Claire, we have a problem. The storm is approaching faster than expected. Way faster. Time's running out. Keep going, Fortuna. We've been working too long to give up now. Thank you. 
Hello. Hello and welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. Trying out this new game. It's a story driven game. Pretty soft core so far. Thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate that. Ever seen this game or know of this game? Um, do you know this game or know about it or seen it or played it? Why can I hit this? Oh, okay. Just curious. It's kind of interesting. It's been slow so far, but... That was kind of like my first puzzle to figure out there. Now I don't know what to do. Oh, duh. It's that easy. I was just in the wrong spot. You gotta be like in the right spot, I guess. We got it. Okay, the hydrogen valves are closed. Head back inside the control center to prime the rocket for launch.
Where do I run to? Uh, oh look, it's the first one with the time. Navigation systems online. We're nearly there. It's just like your train. You can do this. Initiate launch procedure. Uh, none of my controls are working. Can't do anything. I guess I just wait. All right. Good luck with it, and thank you for stopping by. Won't let me do anything. No, interact. Just turn flashlight on. That's it. do that it won't let me even look around I'm pushing all the buttons nothing ha huh, must be bugged <clears throat> Gotta be bugged. You got zero four four three three. Thank you. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day yourself. See, I got to the rocket, right? But I couldn't, like, do anything. I couldn't even look around. All I could do is turn on my flashlight. I pushed every single button that was supposed to have a key bind onto it. And nothing worked. Yeah, 
See, I get on the command, like on a little seat. Oh, I think it's working now. Yeah, now it's working. It was bugged earlier. We go. We have lift off. We do. Second stage. There we go. The rocket has entered the thermosphere. You're on your way, but you know one. network back online, it could restore the hope humanity lost after the lunar colony fell. We could recover, rebuild, and most of all, start thinking about a future. You'll need to find the MPT transmitter at the Pearson space station. From there, the power signal was relayed to Earth. This was the final link in the MPT network before the blackout. If there are answers to find, they're at Pearson, clear? We need to head down to the shelter. 
These winds are getting bad. Understood. For Tuna One, this storm is going to jam radio contact. You'll be on your own for a while. To reach the station, you must... Then we're off to the moon. Did you see any of that? You actually, some of the parts you actually have to hit the right switches. We got it in one go. Oh no, actually, I did mess up on the prime. Priming the second stage earlier. Oh, we got a dock with this thing now. Those, that uh, little control thing there was actually pretty interesting to do.
has fluctuations in the MPT network. If you can hear this, when you reach the control center, try to find out what's wrong with the MPT connection so you can bring it back online. Good luck with that. This is cool. You like flying in space and stuff. Look like you can roll in things. Look at that. Woo! Which way is up? Which way is up? You never know. I need oxygen. You kind of lost again. I think I messed up. I may have 
messed up. I don't know what to do now. I'm stuck again. My BRB quick bio.
All right, I'm back. Yeah, I'm lost again. I don't know what to do. I'm off to take a nap. All right, man. All right, have a good sleep. Remember, Sarah, our oxygen here in the station is limited. After arriving, you'll have 40 minutes to find out what caused the blackout and bring our MPT network back online. If you're not back by then, we'll have to evacuate without you. We hear you, Control. Rolf, you ready? I am. And don't worry, Control. It's probably just a glitch. We'll be back before you know it. Let's find out how they've been holding up down there. Alex, commence descent protocol. All systems go. Almost there. We'll touch up your paint job later. Don't worry. Are you ready to go? We've almost got the elevator running again. Yeah, just patching up Alex before we head down. Are you bringing that thing along? Of course. We'll need all the help we can get. Besides, you wouldn't have made it to that airlock if it hadn't been for him. <sighs> this MPT blackout can't be just a glitch, Rolf. Everything is still dark down there. Last time there was an outage. Did you hear the message from Earth? No. What did they say? They can't even send ships up here anymore without the NPT. It's crazy, right? We're the only ones able to investigate the blackout. Sarah, we need to get you guys down to the surface ASAP. We don't have much time. <sighs> okay, let's go. All right.
R39. I'm going to end it right here. <clears throat> Thank you very much for whoever came by and hung out, wherever you may be. Have a good morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Peace and love.